in patients that are BRCA1 or BRCA2 positive, a decision is often made to do bilateral mastectomy since their risk of future breast cancer is so high. And more importantly, after childbearing has been completed, those patients should have their ovaries removed because ovarian cancer is a much more serious cancer than breast cancer and there are really no good screening procedures for cancer of the ovary as there are for breast cancer like mammography. All of the tests that have been tried to screen for cancer of the ovary including CA125, pelvic exams, pelvic ultrasound, transvaginal pelvic ultrasound have not been shown to pick up ovarian cancer commonly at a stage where it might be cured. So I worry more about women's ovaries than I do their breasts in the situation of BRCA positivity. The next issue that is equally important is if you have a patient that is BRCA positive, one needs to go back to this family tree and ascertain what other family members should be tested. Obviously daughters, obviously sisters, uh, males should be tested uh, because they're, they're at a little higher risk of breast cancer, but, but more importantly they can act as a carrier, for instance, to, to their daughters. So that not only is the gene testing important in that particular patient, but equally important in helping prevent breast cancer and more importantly ovarian cancer in other family members of that patient. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.